my July book haul. So I have a lot of books to show you and I did buy some books this month so yay good for me. Um, it was only like one book I bought but a book's a book right? <laughs> so um, these are a collection of books I bought, books I got off this site that I'll talk to you guys about and then review books of course. So the first four books are actually from this site called Paperback Swap which I heard about and pretty much if you don't want a book that you have you put it on the site and someone could get it and all the only payment that goes through this is the shipping of of you shipping the book to the person and then when you ship the book to that person you get a credit for a nut for a book on the site it can be any book you want as long as it's on the site so stuff like that so I got four books the only bad thing about the site is you have to get kind of older books because there's not a lot of there's not really any new books on there so you have to really wait a while you have to put things on your wish list and stuff like that so the books I got I haven't really been like pining after and stuff like that like they're on my Amazon wish list but they're books I've wanted and they were on the site so I would definitely check it out just be you know there's just a lot of older books on the site nothing really new. First book I got I've been meaning to get for for like ever I just need it <laughs> and that is Tales of Beetle the Bard and this is a Harry Potter book of course by J.K. Rowling. This is like one of the short stories of um, Harry Potter like it's talked about a lot in the seventh Harry Potter book. It's a children's book within Harry Potter so I've been meaning to get it forever it's just I'm probably not going to read it anytime soon. It's just, you know, when you're a Harry Potter junkie, you just buy all things Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the second book I got is Gemini J by Jane Green. And this is probably the one Jane Green I've been really wanting. And um, it's not in great condition. This is the only book I got from the site that's not in really good condition at all. But, you know, whatever it is, what it is. This is about a girl named Gemini who is overweight and stuff like that. I just heard really good things about this book. Now I had tried reading another Jane Green book and it was Bookends and I didn't really like that one. I couldn't finish it so I quit it. So hopefully I will like this one. I don't know. I've heard like whenever I say Jane Green everyone always says Gem and a J so hopefully it'll be good. The next book is another adult book and it's called A Total Waste of Makeup by Kim Sumsenfield. I don't know but uh, this is about a girl who I don't know what she's about. What it's about? No, oh, I don't know much about this book. I just know it's chiclet, and I've heard good things about it. So I was like, I'll check it out. Paperbook Swap. Pretty much, it was free. So why not? Last book on Paperbook Swap I've been having my eye on forever, and it is Fifty Two Reasons to Hate My Father by Jessica Brody. So you can get hardbacks on that side as well. This is about a girl that is rich and she's spoiled and stuff, but I think her dad makes her take on fifty two jobs, and these are all about the fifty two jobs that she has to take on. Like not like. She has to work on that all the time. Like it's like once a week or something like that. I think that's what it's about. I've heard mixed things about this, so I've never, I never wanted to buy it because I was like, I probably won't like it. So I thought paperback swap, paperback swap, would be a great place, you know, to try it out. And if I don't like it, I can always sell it back to paperback swap and get a different book. So it's like a library almost, if you will. The next book I actually won on a giveaway on Twitter, which is surprisingly because I don't win any giveaways like ever. The author is hosting a giveaway and something like that, and I won it. So yeah, and that book is Open Road Summer by Emery Lord. And so I got this and she even signed it for Heather. Make your mess your map, Emery Lord. So it's cool that it's signed. This is a contemporary novel about two best friends. One has a boyfriend and then she gets dumped and then her best friend goes on tour. And so she decides to go on that tour as well. So it's all about stuff like that. I love road trippy type of books because I'm a sucker for those. So. I'm excited for this and I love the cover and the font and everything and it looks so cute. The next book I actually purchased and it should come to no surprise to you that I purchased it. It is Four, A Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth. This is all the short stories about Four in it and wait to read it. If you guys don't know already, Four is my fictional husband like number one top of the list forever and always it will be four. <laughs> so yeah this is like I said it's a short stories. I don't know how many stories are in this. Like they're short stories about four, about his journey to become four. Now the rest of these books are review books. And before you're like, oh, she got so many review books. Sometimes I do request books because I, I just want to read them. And sometimes, you know, publishers will email me and ask if I would read them. So stuff like that. I'm very fortunate and very lucky to receive review copies. So don't think I take that for granted because I don't. Because I honestly can't afford to buy books right now. So thank God for these review copies because they are keeping me within the region, within the reading limits of the library. <laughs> so I just want to put that out there before you guys are like, she is so spoiled. I'm totally not. 
The first two books are from Source Fire Books, and the first one is Breathe Annie Breathe by Miranda Kellany. And if you guys watch my contemporary mashup review, you already know I've read this and loved it, so stuff like that. It's about a girl named Annie is training for a marathon in honor of her deceased ex-boyfriend because he was training for a marathon. And she wants to finish it in his honor, and she wants to do everything, and it was really, really good. This is a part of her Hundred Oak series, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's book five. It's one of those contemporary series that you don't, it's not necessary to read all of the books in order to read like the latest one and stuff like that because with contemporary series, it's not like you don't have to read them in order because a lot of times they're just intertwining characters. So in this one, there is intertwining characters, but I won't spoil you. And I haven't even read all the Hundred Oak series. I've only read books two and three, but I will say this is my favorite Miranda Kellany book that I have read. So if you guys haven't watched my contemporary review mashup, you should. It's right there. So yeah. They also sent me randomly Model Undercover by Anna Alexson. I know this is a middle grade book and about a girl that loves fashion, but she also loves mystery, like solving mystery. Props to any of you guys that watch Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, the detectives. We'll solve any crime by dinner time. I watched the mess of those, but it, it looks really cute and I can't wait to read it. This book that was sent to me is Just Like the Movies by Kelly Fior, and this should be out already, I believe, and I do, I'm planning to read it very, very soon. This is about two girls that are so lucky in love, and they decide to team up together to try to, you know, make love like the movies. Because the movies, there's like a formula, you know, that you follow that you do the steps and you equal the one, and you get the one. So I think these two girls team up to try to formulate like love like the movies. They're trying to create the perfect romantic moment like the movies and all that stuff. It sounds really, really cute as a huge fan of rom-coms. <laughs> Yep, that's me. Um, I think this will be super cute and I've heard really good things about it so I can't wait to read it. This book I've um, already read and reviewed and it has its own video so be sure to check that out right here. And that is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste NG. This is an adult mystery novel. Ooh, branching out here a little bit, Heather. I know, I'm doing good. Anyway, I did not know this was an adult book till I read it or until I was done reading it. But it's all about um, a family in the 70s, a, chi a mixed Chinese American family. And it's all about the death of the middle daughter. So it's all about the mystery of Lydia's death and stuff like that. But if you're going into it thinking it's gonna be like Lovely Bones-esque like I was because I do love the Lovely Bones. And you, Lovely Bones is all about like, you know, the aftermath of the death, trying, you know, to figure out what happens to the family, how they're, you know, reacting. This is actually somewhat different. It shows you like the events leading up to Lydia's death. It shows you how the family was even before Lydia's death. It even shows you how the parents get together even before the parents got together, how that, how they were brought up. So it shows you all of these circumstances of leading up to Lydia's death and even shows you afterwards. So this was an amazing book, I'd say. Definitely check it out if you're new to the mystery genre like myself. I read this because I don't read any mystery at all and it was just it was a really really good book so check out my review if you want to know more and in fact another mystery book I have received for review is Blackfin Sky by Kate Ellis this comes out in September and this is all about it's another mystery book about a girl that dies or she is supposed to be dead or something like that I've heard really good things about it I don't know much about it but I do know that they sent me two copies to give away so whenever I do read this book stay tuned for a giveaway of the book so you can win one as well because that's awesome any chance I can get to get two copies so I can give you guys one is I'd take because you guys are awesome um, but yeah sorry I don't know too much about this I will leave all the links to these books down in the description because sometimes I'm bad at leaving descriptions this book I got which I'm so grateful to have received early and read already is Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins Ah, this is the third and final book in the Anna and the French Kiss series. If you guys didn't already know, it's a contemporary series and I'm sure you've heard about it. Everyone on book two raves about Anna and the French Kiss and Lola the Boy Next Door. Well, they're going to rave about Isla and the Happily Ever After. I read this and devoured it and loved it so, so much. Like I said, I've already read it. And the review for this will come up on the release date, which is August 14th, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, this was an amazing series. If you guys haven't read the series, if you're looking for really cute, contemporary, lovey-dovey, gushy romance, please read any Stephanie Perkins books. Like, if you're sad, read a Stephanie Perkins book, and it will bring your spirits right on up, believe you me. Anyway, this is about our girl named Isla, who also goes to the boarding school like Anna did in Anna and the French Kiss, which is the first book. And she's had a crush on Josh 
for forever. And finally they get together, which is not spoiling anything because they get together relatively really, really soon in the book and even says on the back. And it's all about their struggles as a couple with distance and stuff like that. It's really good. I was really happy to see a contemporary where the couple gets together early because a lot of times a contemporary, you're reading about like this much of them having like this much of them having all this romantic tension and will they, won't they, will they, won't they, and they get together, you only have like this much, and you're like, I need more of them. <laughs> so I was very happy that this one, you know, focused a lot on the relationship because like I said, you don't get that a lot in contemporaries. But anyway, this comes out August 14th and you should definitely have this on your to-buy list. Like, you got to. The next book I received for review is Say What You Will by Cammie McGovern. And look at this beautiful cover. Like, it is a beautiful cover. Like, it could be a beautiful poster. Good job. The contemporary, I don't know too much about it, but I think um, it says, I want someone who will talk to me honestly about things. You're the one person who ever has. Maybe you don't know this, but when you're disabled, almost no one tells you the truth. They feel too awkward because the truth seems too sad, I guess. You are very brave to walk up to the crippled girl and say essentially, wipe that sunny expression off your face and look at reality. That's what I want you to do next year. Tell me the truth. That's all. So I think it's about this couple and the girl is disabled and she's kind of crippled and she always puts on this sunny exterior and, you know, it's about them falling in love and stuff like that. So I've heard really, really good things about this book. I think Jamie read it and she said she loved it. So I can't wait to read it as well. The last book I received is Biggest Flirts by Jennifer Eccles. And this is a part of a series. I don't know if this is the first one. I'm not too sure. I think it's about these two people that like each other and they get voted as the biggest flirts and maybe they, you know, get together finally because they're both flirts. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry for being an awful person in descriptions, but it just happens. <laughs> anyway, that is my entire July book haul. It was long, I know, I apologize. But anyway, um, if you have heard of any of these books, please let me know down in the comments. Let's talk about them. And yeah, that is all for me and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh,